Mr. Speaker, within two years of the change, below are just some of the problems we have faced. A change, Mr. Speaker, that we can all feel. A change in the management of the economy, a change in the management of the economy from incompetence to competence, a change from macroeconomic instability to macro stability, a change from a rising debt to GDP ratio to a declining debt to GDP ratio, changing from a weak banking system to a strong, well capitalized and better supervised banking system, a change from taxation that undermines production, a change from a predominance a change from a predominance of sole sourcing to competitive tendering in procurement. This change has seen the Public Procurement Authority making total savings of 1.8 billion from January 2017 to October 2018. It is important to recognize, Mr. Speaker, that not a single Pessoa was saved all the years under the previous government until 2017. A change, Mr. Speaker, from the manual process of clearing goods of its attendant corruption at the ports to a paperless process, a change to bring about a reduction in electricity tariffs, a change from doing so to reliable power. A change in the access to and cost of education, to social justice with introduction of free senior high school education, leaving, Mr. Speaker, no one behind. A change from the abolition of teacher training allowances to a restoration of teacher training allowances. A change from cash and carry in NHIS to a functioning national health insurance system where all areas led by our colleagues from 2014 have now been cleared. A change from the abolition of nursing training allowances to a restoration Let us watch the language. of Every nursing language training allowances. A change to increase the share of DACF to persons with disabilities from 2% to 3%. A change in a moribund private sector to a vibrant job creating private sector. A change, a change, a change from rising graduate unemployment to reducing graduate unemployment through programs such as the 100,000 strong NAPCO core, a change from a dying colonial railway network system that had, that had been to, that is now being re-energized, a change from a stagnant agriculture sector to a revitalized agriculture sector under the planting for food and jobs program. A change from destructive Galamsey activities to a regulated small-scale mining activities. A change from the opaque allocation of Ghana's oil blocks to non-performing cronies to a transparent allocation of oil blocks to investors with the capacity to work the fields.